All right, hello, grade nines. I'm working on getting a less awkward wave. Um, I hope you had a great week, and I hope you're ready to get back into the saddle. So a couple things to review, and then I'll tell you what is next in our world of language arts online. Um, first of all, we had someone win the bracket. Actually, we had three people win the bracket. It was a three-way tie because only three people chose my honest poem as the overall winner. That is the poem that won. Yeah, but they And then they all also picked one runner-up. So they got two out of the top three right. Um, and those three people are, drum roll. Okay, they are. <laughs> they are Nevi, Skyly, and Kayum. So congratulations. Ignore my band-aid. I cut myself this morning. Email me when I can come drop it off, where I can drop it off. And if you have any specific treats, drinks, chips, chocolate bars, or anything that you absolutely love, that you want me to include in your goodie basket, I can. There will be other things in it as well. So congratulations, you guys won the bracket. So the assignment before Easter break, spring break, I don't actually know what we're calling it now. So half of you still need to go and do the assignment. Okay, and so now the next question is, what is next? And this is what's next. TED Talks. So I have been building the entire year to this final project, and I was going to throw it off the table with this whole virtual learning thing, but I think we can still do it. It's just going to be a little bit different. Um, throughout the year, we've been writing in different ways, you guys. In the beginning of the year, we did a lot of narrative, personal narrative writing. You wrote stories about your life, and then you made up stories. And then we moved into informational writing, which some of you really struggled with. That's when you did your top 10 list. You wrote movie reviews, book reviews, things like that. And then we were going to get into persuasive writing. And that's where you kind of argue a certain point. And some of you have been doing that on Google Classroom, so you're all set already. <laughs> but a TED Talk is kind of a combination of those three things. So you guys can pick any topic for your TED Talk, literally anything. Say you wanted to pick hmm, horses, okay? We don't want to just talk about horses in general. We want to have kind of a statement about horses. So maybe why horses are the best therapy animal or why horses are, I literally can't think anything else about horses. Maybe why we should have wild horses. <laughs> I just thought for two minutes and that's all I came up with. I obviously don't know a lot about horses. I have had students do these in the past and I'll give you a couple overviews to give you some ideas. One person was obsessed with saltwater taffy, and so they wrote their TED Talk about why saltwater taffy is the best candy in the world. So they had a statement, it's something you can argue, right? And they opened it up with this story about them as a child, um, having their first saltwater taffy at the Nanton Candy Store, if any of you have been to that. It is delightful. And then they gave some interesting facts about saltwater taffy, and then they gave some points about why they're the best. It was so random, but I loved it. Another person in their TED Talk went a completely different way. And what they actually did was for three days, they showed up to school and they acted the complete opposite of who they were. So this person was very shy, um, very, very shy. They didn't like makeup. They weren't into lots of different things. They didn't like sports. And so for three days, they pretended to be this person who was bubbly and outgoing. And, and she put a lot of makeup on and did her hair really fancy. And she carried around a basketball. <laughs> it was really funny. And then their TED Talk was, the title was, What I Learned Being the Opposite of Myself for Three Days. And so they told a story. They gave some like really cool facts about what science believes you're born with in terms of personality and what you develop. Fascinating. And then she had this statement at the end about how um, you can pretend to be 
the opposite of who you are or change who you really are, but in the end, you are just you. It was kind of, it was a really good TED Talk. So again, I'm, I'm saying this to show you there is like a large spectrum of different things you can talk about in your TED Talk. Are we going to start writing already? No. We're going to spend the next week brainstorming. I'm going to show you three really good TED Talks. We're going to kind of pull them apart and see what makes them good. And just kind of their style, like what's this pattern that we see in every single TED Talk. So that's what's coming up this week and the next few weeks. I'm really excited. It, it's a really fun project. Um, and it just, you can take it in any direction that you would like.